Are you suffering from a bladder infection or maybe a pneumonia? Then it might be that your doctor prescribed you Bactromel, also called Cotrimoxazole. And in this video, we will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you who are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewer, you, so you can make healthier decisions. And remember, this video is meant purely informative, I'm just a medical doctor from the internet, so I can give personal medical advice. Always contact your doctor if you need it. Let's get started. So as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is Cotrimoxazole and it's sold under the brand name Bactromel. And it's available as a tablet, a suspension and via trip. Which brings us to how to use this drug. If you want to use it as a tablet, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. And if you want to use it as a suspension, then shake the bottle you're giving and take out the correct amount using a measuring spoon. Put it in a cup, drink the cup, afterwards rinse the cup with some water and drink that water as well. And lastly, if your doctor prescribed it through drip, then don't worry, you do not need to do anything yourself and your nurse or your doctor will place the drug via the drip. Furthermore, it's important you drink at least one and a half to two liters of water during your treatment with Cotrimoxazole. This will prevent this medication from crystallizing in your kidneys, causing kidney stones. Now, Cotrimoxazole is part of a group of drugs called sulfamethoxazole and trimetoprim, and it can be used to treat several infections with bacteria, like an infection of your respiratory tract, like a pneumonia, gastrointestinal infections, such as a stomach infection, or urinary tract infections and middle ear infections. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that it's important that you always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you, as specific dosages can differ depending on your indication of use, the severity of your symptoms, and the side effects you might experience. However, when treating most infections in adults, your doctor might prescribe a dose of 960 milligrams twice a day. And during serious infections, this dose can be increased to 960 milligrams three times a day. It's also important to mention that cotrimoxazole is usually given up to two days after the symptoms have disappeared, but at least for five days. On the other hand, if you have taken cotrimoxazole for 14 days and you do not experience any relief of your symptoms, then please contact your doctor, as cotrimoxazole might not be effective for you and your doctor might need to change your treatment. On the other hand, if you need to take it for the long term, after 14 days, the dose is usually halved. So also discuss this with your personal doctor. Now, Cotrimoxazole is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can also cause some side effects. I will discuss some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Commonly it might cause nausea, vomiting, a skin rash, or elevated blood values. Uncommonly it might cause a convulsion, diarrhea, impaired renal function, deafness, and inflammation of the liver. Rarely it can cause hallucinations, an inflammation of your throat, stomach or pancreas. And very rarely it might cause a severe allergic reaction, a convulsion, dizziness, a meningitis and several other serious side effects. Which brings us to the safety of use. And first of all I want to mention that it's safe to combine cotrimoxazole with any type of food and with alcohol, although do so in moderation. It's also safe to drive when using cotrimoxazole, but if you do experience any side effects like dizziness, then please be careful. It's also important to mention that cotrimoxazole can have interactions with other drugs you're taking, so always discuss this with your personal doctor. And for those of you who are pregnant or who are breastfeeding, please know that cotrimoxazole can be dangerous for pregnant women and your unborn baby, as well as for your baby when you're breastfeeding. So always discuss this with your personal doctor and be very careful. I hope you know now how to use cotrimoxazole, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer all of your questions. For those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description because educated people make healthier decisions, so keep on learning. Lastly, if you did learn something, please consider to like the video. This will help out the channel tremendously. And if you want to never miss such an awesome video ever again, also subscribe. I'm posting weekly medical videos and it will help me to reach my subscriber milestone. We almost reached it, 100,000 subscribers. I thank you all. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who's an investor to your supporter. And I will see you all next week with a new video. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.